it's already as it is five and a half hours it's really hard you're not allowed to have like water in the room you're only allowed certain pencils like the testing environment is really sterile so it's like mentally just like draining and then to do that for seven hours seems pretty bad that scares me a little bit because you said what part will be like psychology or so sociology social science i haven't yeah. taken like very many social science classes so it's kind of I think frightening for like pre-med people who, are, who usually major in sciences. I think it's interesting mm -hmm. that they're taking out the writing portion just because I feel like anybody should be able to write even if like doctors don't really write like essays or anything they do write reports and they do like talk with people and you have to be able to analyze things um, but if they're enhancing the social science section I guess that might supplement that or make up for it. Um, but I think the fact that they're adding on two more hours is like a little ridiculous because people are going to get so burned out after that and it makes me not look forward to it at all, but... I mean, I think that's cool. I think a more holistic approach is always beneficial. I think being well-rounded in, you know, topics besides science and what, physics, mm -hmm. is you know, a good thing to have, but... I kind of feel like the essay already made you do that because, yeah. you know, they, they want you to be up on contemporary issues, literature. Supposedly, actually, the writing score is the score, like, most closely correlated with being a good doctor. Like, New I don't know how they, like, assess being a good doctor, but New York Times did the study of, like, how much MCAT matters two years back, and apparently, like, writing score is the only section score that, like, correlated with, like, doctors who had the most patients, who made the most money, whatever. So maybe they should reconsider. Taking that out. It's a standardized test and people study for it in that context. So I don't know how effective it is to like make people study history and social sciences for them to like do it for two months and like forget it later. Personally, I like writing, so I would prefer having a writing section rather than like psychology or, so, or um, social sciences. I, I think s having social sciences could make you a better doctor, just it helps you understand people more psychology. So I, I can see why they would want that. I think. Adding on the extra time is irrelevant, <laughs> just because I don't see how that would improve like people who could be better doctors, unless maybe they're going to be ER doctors and they need to be able to put up with very long procedures. Or I think the social science addition or the enhancement in that category is probably good, just because I feel like a lot of doctors don't have good bedside manner, and uh, I think maybe if they had to study more on um, social aspects of their future career than that.